An outbreak of fungal meningitis from a steroid. That's what health officials suspect. And they say it originated at a pharmacy in Massachusetts. Federal officials report five people have died, and the steroid has made a dozen more ill, including two people here in Florida. Channel 4's Haley Winslow talked with a local pain management physician who told her anyone with back pain should be aware. It's not a common way of getting meningitis. It's not caused by person-to-person -person contact, the type of meningitis that we usually hear about infectious disease outbreaks. This has been caused by a contaminated steroid made by a compounding pharmacy that has been used by various clinics along the eastern uh, seaboard uh, states to do injections. The injections in all 30 cases in the country were to treat back pain, and the steroid in each case traced back to the New England Compounding Center. This has been uh, very concerning to us in the pain management community and, and to all of the health practitioners and public health officials at large uh, in that uh, this is a uh, can be deadly. That's why it's important to make sure the steroid injection your doctor uses is safe. At Hecan Orthopedic Specialists, doctors say it definitely is. This is the steroid that's injected into the spine. Before a doctor injects it, ask him where it came from. Your best bet is to make sure that it's preservative free, coming directly from the manufacturer, like they do here at Hecan Orthopedic Specialists. If you're not sure, call the doctor's office and ask. Also, use a physician you trust, like a board-certified pain management specialist. When you're going into the spinal canal, you're right next to the spinal cord. Who does it should have the utmost respect for sterility and practice that way. That way you can count on the steroid helping your back, not hurting it. Haley Winslow, Channel 4, The Local Station.